Hello my friends and welcome back to Cat on a Sofa and today I want to talk about vanishing points. Um so my only knowledge to this movie prior to actually acquiring it was exclusively from Death Proof and I wanted to see it ever since Death Proof just because Tarantino absolutely just makes it seem like um it just makes it see he makes it seem like phenomenal it's like wow the vanishing point challenger and um yeah so i i kind of had a desire to see it and at one point my local cex actually had this in stock for um, quite a while and i never ended up getting it time went by and i was in town in birmingham and they had it and i was like i'm just gonna get this and see if it's any good yeah i quite enjoyed it it's um it's just a giant car chase movie. What's really not to love? It's very, very... It's it's an uncomplicated story. Uh, one you can just enjoy the, um, the, the chases for. You know, kind of in the same way you enjoy martial arts films for the fighting, even if everything else on them is a bit off. So anyway, um, comes with a very unusual... I would call it like... It's like a one-third O-ring slip. It's... it's um, it's odd, right? Like, what, what is even the point? So, yeah, and um, so yeah, the steelbook itself—it's pretty nice. It's um, it 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 doesn't feel spot glossed. It's I, I I don't know how to describe the finish on this. It's like, it's like all brushed metal on both sides. The um, the actual printing doesn't feel spot glossy though, but it is like, it's definitely different it i guess you could just call it a matte finish it must be i really need to um learn my steelbook finishes slightly better but that's a problem for future jinxie so yeah this is the vanishing point challenger the 1970 vanishing point challenger and in death proof they really love this car i mean well, what what a surprise that Tarantino loves um, cars like this and stuntmen. He he's just that kind of um, director, right? And I have not a problem with it for all of Tarantino's eccentricities, blood loving stuntmen. You know, that's fine. And yeah, um, it has a couple of scratches on because I bought it secondhand, but it's not so bad, and there's no dents, which is always nice. And it's um, it's kind of striking. It's actually one of my well, I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite steelbooks, but it is very nice all the same. Let's have a look at the inside. There we have Kowalski. I've only actually seen this film once. I really do need to watch it again. But it, it is just a very no-nonsense uh, car chase movie. Uh, if you're into, um, you know, early 70s car chase movies, I would definitely recommend that you pick it up. As for the steelbook, if um, if you're ever out in the wild and find one, definitely go ahead and get it. I, well, that's kind of up to you, I suppose. But um, if you're here looking for tips on whether or not to buy it, I recommend it. It's quite pretty in the hand. So yeah, that that is it for this um, this video, my dudes. If you enjoyed the video, as usual, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Please consider following me on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to make a second YouTube channel exclusively for shorts because I've decided that the YouTube shorts are cluttering up my um, main feed in a way that I just don't like. And I'm always worried that um, people are unsubscribing because of that. And I was just looking at the... Um, just my main video um, feed page and it just looks horribly inconsistent so i think i'm going to delete the shorts that are on here or at the very least i might just hide them from um public view and then only upload actual videos uh so if you want to subscribe to that i think i'm going to call it cat on a sofa shorts I might just call it Cat on a Sofa. Um, no, I think I might call it Cat on a Sofa Shorts. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll see. But um, just letting you know that I'm going to be doing that. 
Uh, as for potential upcoming content, guys, my ex Machina steelbook has been charged uh, um, today, so I'm hoping. I I don't think it's gonna get released now until. Uh, I don't I don't think it will dispatch now today. I'll be very very surprised if it dispatches today. But I'm hoping, and if it does, I'm hoping that I get a 24-hour delivery. If it does, I'll get a video out on that tomorrow. I'm hoping to get, well, um, I don't know when, when I'll get Bullet Train. I haven't even got a, an official release date on that. And the Rambo big box set. I'm dying to get that to do a video about it. But that's not been charged yet either. So even if that does charge today... I highly doubt that I'll get that before Monday now, which is really unfortunate because I'd be looking forward to that. But if anyone has any suggestions, ideas, whatever, if um, if you have any thoughts on what kind of content you would like to see on the channel, I would really appreciate it because not that I'm running out of ideas, but I don't know if, if I should just stick to doing like showcases of... Um, of my physical collection or if i should start doing like lists of things of top movies or um I, I could even like branch into movie quotes or what i mean i i'm i'm not hard set on it just being um on it just being a physical collection thing I, I'm, I'm quite open to talk about films in fact i'm considering starting a podcast uh so let me know if you would be interested in that too uh I, I i just like some ideas really guys i would i would like to try to um take this channel to wherever it can go and i'd like to find out where it can go so yeah so um yeah 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 I, I think that just about does it, my dudes.